Hey girls, it's Stephanie again. I thought while I had the camera out, I would um, show you all what I worked on this weekend. But real quick, what you're looking at is a really ugly, um, I think it's 20 by 18 picture. Uh, that's actually like a poster print um, that was in a glass front frame. I bought it like 10, 12 years ago at Garden Ridge Pottery and it's been on my wall ever since and um, you know just one of those things that you don't even look at you don't notice it anymore because it's been on your wall for so long and since I'm moving I took everything off the walls already and um, I saw that and was like oh ew you know of course it wasn't all torn like it is in the corners I was trying to take it off of the chipboard and um, just gave up and decided oh forget it no one's gonna see the back anyways but anywho I turned it around and um, decided to alter it and this is what I did hang on let me turn it oops try not to ding up the walls and make sure that I'm still in frame yep yeah, there we go um, I used the Butterfly Collection um, by Pink Paisley and um, I just really had a great time. That came together in probably 20 minutes maybe and um, I had a really good time making that and let me see because I don't... there we go. Let me get the whole thing in the shot. Um, I used three sheets of the 12 by 12 pink paisley butterfly collection. Um, the sheet down here at the bottom and up here the pink. Uh, those are two different sheets and I just cut them um, in different sizes to mat I guess you would say around this 12 by 12 here in the center and um, I distressed the 12 by 12 in the center and went around it with distressed corduroy um, Tim Holtz distress ink and put um, a glimmer misted half of a doily in the bottom corner on the left and in the top corner on the right and that doily came from Sherry scrapping and wrapping thank you so much Sherry and all of these little cutouts are also from the um, same paper scraps. Um, I only used the three sheets from the collection to do this whole thing and um, I added a piece of wide lace uh, down the left here to cover one of the seams and then some brown velvet ribbon also to cover the seams at the top and um, got it all in place and then thought okay well now what am I going to put in the center of it and I happen to have uh, this old photograph of my niece and nephew at the zoo and it's just my favorite picture in the world of them they are just too adorable in that picture and so I matted it and um, put it in there and I left room at the bottom so I can go back in um, I just stuck it in the frame just to make sure it was going to fit but so I left room at the bottom so I can go back in and put some journaling down there at the bottom but that was taken in March quite a few years ago actually because my nephew at the top of that photo is turning 17 this week yeah I can't believe it either oh they grow up so quick and um, I got some K and Company chipboard letters at the top that spelled out spring fun so um, if you have any really ugly photos in your not photos but picture frames in your stash don't throw them away because I have these by the front door to throw you know this hideous thing in the back away and decided I would give it a try and um, when I move that's gonna go somewhere in my bedroom um, and get hung up again and I have one more um, that I'm gonna try and alter and hopefully that one goes just as well but I'm really happy with the way that turned out so I will talk to you all later bye